you out in this field. Um, still here in the town of Grimesland. I actually found the oldest coin I found so far in this field was a 1905 Indian head. Uh, looking on the 1957 historical maps, there were um, three old houses, at least three, uh, set about where that telephone pole is. So I'm going to go above that pole. Um, there's a lot of trash in this field, so I'm just going to put it in coins mode, see what I can find. It's um, December 18th, and it's about 75 degrees today. So, you know, we just never know what we're going to get. Winds blowing hard, perfect video conditions, right? So, uh, we'll see what we find. Telephone pole, I just got right off over here. Uh, pretty sure that's another Indian head. Of course, my glasses, as usual, are in the truck. Uh, it's crusty, so I can't see a date on it, but I can see it well enough to tell that's an Indian head. Cool beans. Got another old coin here. Don't know what it is. Uh, don't even know if you can see that or not. I'm <coughs> struggling here trying to balance the camera and see exactly what I got. Fingers out of the way. This is uh, right under the ground, right, yeah, just uh, under the surface. Uh, uh, I see some green. Um, so I guess the farmer's been in here and tilled this up. Let's see what all we've he's uncovered for us since I was here last year. Let me uh, turn the camera off. Hit this with the uh, my toothbrush, and I'll be right back. Like it's a wheat penny. Uh, still too crusty to get a date on, but uh, I'll take it. All right, this came up as a really good uh, penny signal, so I'm just going to set you on the ground here and uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to see what we dig it. Set you here. Out of the way. Yeah, there it is, and it is crusty as usual. Uh, it's a it's a wheat penny. Let's pick you up here. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a wheat penny. Can't see a date on it, but uh, that's cool. I will take them all day long. Kind of choppy, but it's deep, so you know that. That might mean penny, it might mean trash. So I'm gonna set you down here and let's see what we what we find. Showing up eight inches plus, but doesn't always mean that. Get out of there. That's something right there. Out of, the, out of the hole in this clump. Oh, what we got there? A piece of junk. Junk. You get fooled sometimes, that's a fact. All right, this hole here is saying a quarter, eight in to 10 inches deep. So let's see, this might be something really good. Put you right here. Hopefully you can see it. Eight to 10 inches deep, don't always mean eight to 10 inches deep. With my machine, not always, sometimes. Eight to ten inches deep, those means eight to ten inches deep. Let's see if we got any. No, 
nothing there. There's something right there. My daggone wedding ring trips this thing off. So I like to clip it on my keys. Poop. Daggone piece of aluminum. Stick. Piece of aluminum. Dang. Big hopes. Yep. That's all it was. Crap. <laughs> it's an old shotgun shell, old paper shotgun shell, but these are cool because you can get a date on them. Uh, Western something or other. It's not a coin, but still cool. There you go. Alright, can you see me now? Having all kind of fits out of this camera today. Uh, it's starting to get a little gray, but I just dug up something kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's got a hole in it, so I don't know if it's a necklace or if it's a coin that was made into a necklace. Um, it's got a design on it there. I'm going to zoom in as best I can. Uh, see, it's not really going to focus on it, is it? Uh, I don't know what that's going to look like on camera. Um, I'm going to have to take it home and clean it up and see exactly what I got here, but that's cool. There's the I'm calling that the front. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to get home and uh, get it cleaned up and see what I got. I'll show you in a minute. 